what's happening and what's going on with you it's your boy mop the builder and you checking in with salt dust and oil pressure volume 2.1 see what i'm going to be doing here i'm going to be going over my whip my build bring y'all along with, with me man i'm gonna show you from step one you know the thought process that i went through when i was sourcing out my engine well, actually, before that, when I was trying to decide what I wanted to run, because I actually did start another build um, prior to this one. I was doing just a little Vortec 350 cam heads and all that. And <clears throat> I realized I wasn't going to have the power that I wanted. I wasn't going to be making the power that I wanted per dollar spent. And then my next thought was big block. I was going to go big block. I was going to do you know, a big block stroker motor. And... You know, I kind of want to do everything myself, you know, do do everything that I can on my own. And um, I don't own a machine shop. <laughs> so a lot of the things that I would have wanted to do, I can't really do in house. And the whole point of this build is really is really the to see what you can do at home in the backyard to do what the average builder could accomplish on their own. That's kind of what I wanted to do for you all. Um, so. I did I did the YouTube thing, you know, everybody doing the the, the, the five threes and four eights, turbos, you know, the eBay special setups and making good results with it. So I'm like, hey, let's try it out. Let's see what we can make happen. So um that's where I'm at right now. So I went ahead and bought an engine from one of my buddies. It was a, a five three out of an O2 Yukon. Got his ass doing some goddamn work. Uh huh. You got. <laughs> um, fairly low mileage for the year. It was like 130, 130,000 miles. Um, and they when I when I when they pulled when they pulled it from the donor vehicle, super complete, super complete. Like, check this out, check this out, look. I'm talking about they got everything. I'm talking about even the horn. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to my dog Amit and my squad, Just Right Customs, and also my fam, Ink Nation. But uh, yeah, Meat and his people, they did fiend pool on this one. They got everything from the horn to the guy now. Yeah, everything.
you check it in on volume 2.1. You know what I'm saying? The Turbo Chevy Edition. No, 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 no. Look, you're going to learn I am so informal. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a regular dude with an iPhone and some tools. You know what I'm saying? But thanks for checking for... Hold on. All right. Let me hold my dick hand because it feel weird. pick back up on 2.2 is going to be transmission selection and what it takes to LS swap would be by the Chevy. For those that didn't know, in this case, 91 through 96, Caprices and Impalas. The Impala being from 94 through 96 for those that didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, got a lot of parts to show you, a lot of cool stuff to go over. I ended up um, doing a lot and not filming it just because I, you know, I'll start tinkering and whatnot and wanting to play with a new tool. And, you know, next thing I know, I got a pile of parts and didn't record taking none of it off. So that's my apologies on that. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a little better on that. All right, be cool. Yo, what's up, man? Just another day out here, working on a little Buick.